Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you are having a blessed Wednesday. Not going too bad here. This morning, I'm just going to do a reading. I think I ever did it a little bit yesterday. I know that was longer than usual for my daily videos. Would you believe it took me an hour and a half of footage? <laughs> and I managed to cut it in half or over half. Okay. Let's see what card we have today. All right. Oh. Okay. We have temperance. In numerology, this is the 14th card. It corresponds to Sagittarius. The element is fire. Um, this is one of the most loving and supportive cards in the tarot. Um, it can be considered a huge blessing since the spirit guides who surround you are about to take a step in and offer their help. Temperance has a strong mind over matter quality to it and asks you to evaluate your situation so you can become balanced. It's important to understand that the balance here isn't about making all things in your life equal, but it's about removing your negative behaviors and thought patterns in order to find peace within yourself. It is also important to acknowledge the root of this card, moderation and sobriety. Be honest with yourself regarding bad habits or addictions that may be holding you back. Key words are moderation, sobriety, spirit guide, divine blessings, healing, and balance. This also means patience, moderation, reconciliation, healing, and angelic guidance. Now in this card, it shows two hands surrounding a brain. This suggests alchemy is at work and that a little magic may be needed if we are to reconcile the demands upon us. It's connected with the sun and with time, um, dealing with issues of the past, present, and future. The number is 14, which is the double of the prime number, 7, the magical number of creation. Sagittarius is its sign, as I said, and the archer is sometimes known as the centaur, half man, half beast, showing the blending of opposites. The glyph for Sagittarius is the crossed arrow, like that of an archer. It is a symbol of precision. Temperance's element is fire for action and energy. It's associated with the Hebrew letter Samek, meaning support and patience. And it's placed on the tree of life on the 15th pathway between uh, the linking, linking together of the qualities of change and salvation. It shows you are dealing with a potentially volatile situation and you need to temper your thoughts and actions to find balance and harmony. This means choosing neither one nor the other, but blending two opposing forces to create an inspired solution. The card also asks you not to resist, but to accept both sides of a situation and be guided by what feels most natural to you. It is time to reconcile any area of your life that is out of kilter. Be hands-on. You can analyze what you might do for eons. But now what matters is action. 
temperance shows you are connecting with your guides and angels. You may be given a sign, such as advice from a friend or even a stranger whom the angels have sent to help you. This may also be the beginning of a spiritual journey for you. In your projects, what you imagine you can create. You may also be inspired by an invention or a work of art from the past. Here are some other interpretations. At the home life, running a household and dealing with demanding children or partners is a fine balancing act, but you have the financial and emotional resources to succeed. This is a stage in the relationship when you can reach a new level of trust. If you are single, you may be guided toward a new partner. It's an emotionally intense time. In career and money, you may be dealing with difficult or highly sensitive individuals. Be the diplomat and you can work a miracle. In money terms, pay extra attention to your income and outgoings. So, all right. There you have it. So today, I think I'll be trying to get my desk in order. I try and try and try, and it always reverts back to where it was. Imagine that. I've got my work cut out for me. Peace. Double peace. Believe. Have a blessed Wednesday. It's hump day. Bye-bye. <laughs>